When it comes to LiPo bags for charging your batteries, there's a lot of different choices. Now here I have two different kinds. This is just a uh, thin one. This just has you know, the top and the back sewed together and it has the uh, big thick Velcro up here in the top and uh, this, can hold, this can hold quite a few batteries and this is one I've been using for a while. Uh, this one works just fine. And then this is a little bit bigger one I bought and I bought this one just because it can hold more batteries. Again, this one has the real thick Velcro on here and this one has some little straps inside here, stretchy straps that are good for uh, you know putting your batteries inside here if you're going to charge. Now, uh, one thing that a lot of people you know question is, do you really need a bag to charge? Well, not if you're going to sit there and watch your batteries charge. A lot of my batteries are charging about five feet away from me right now, and I can hear the fan turning on and off. Now that doesn't mean that I could hear I could hear a battery explode or start to fizzle, but I am close enough that I could react and unplug the charger, which would probably be the best thing to do, and then be able to get the batteries out of the house so they can just burn it, you know, until they're done outside. Now these bags sometimes they may not actually stop the battery from exploding or contain the battery entirely, but every LiPo bag will at least slow it down. Cheaper ones uh, might melt when the battery gets hot uh, and starts to burn, and uh, more expensive ones may have a little bit longer life on them before they actually start to melt. And the idea is that hopefully the bag will contain the fire so that nothing else burns. So besides charging inside your bags, what else can you use these bags for? Well, if you're gonna charge inside and you're gonna leave your battery alone for even like 15 minutes or something while you run and do something, it's not a bad idea to go ahead and put it inside one of these bags. Well, besides charging, you can also use these for storage. And you might wanna store your one kind of batteries in one bag and your other type of batteries in here, like your 1500s in here, your 1300s, or maybe your 22s or whatever. Just separate them like that. Or you might wanna separate them by three cell and four cell or something like that. What I usually do with mine is I use my LiPo bag to hold my dead batteries. That's because I'm at the flying field and I keep them all inside my big case. And then when the batteries are dead, I throw them in here. That way I know that these are the actual batteries that need to be recharged. And so I don't try to reuse them again um, at the flying field and then you know, disappointed when it doesn't last. So like I said, I use this mostly just for uh, uh, traveling. Now, if you're gonna take batteries on a plane, there are, there's not many rules against these small batteries. I think it's 100 watt hour is where the restriction is and all these are going to be way less than that but just to be safe and to let the people know that you're trying to be safe it's a good idea to go ahead and put your batteries inside a lipo bag if you're going to take it on the plane yeah like i said they're not going to believe you if you tell them they're 100 they're less than 100 watt hours or anything but they will see that you actually took precaution and put them inside a lipo bag is it really going to help anything probably not but you took the effort to go ahead and try it anyway one thing you can do to prevent your batteries from exploding and reduce your risk dramatically is to use a balanced charger when you're charging your batteries. If you have something like a three cell battery, uh, like this one, this is a 1000 milliamp hour battery. If you have a three cell battery or a two cell battery and you're only charging with this port here, you're, what you're doing is you're just forcing juice into all three cells and you're trying to, it's trying to raise the voltage of this up to uh, 12.6, 12.6 yeah 12.6 volts and once this hits once this reads 12.6 volts it'll quit charging and that's not balanced charging basically what you're doing is you're just shoving juice in here and all three of these guys are accepting it now as long as your cells are in good shape inside here that's not really that bad of an option but what you really want to do to help prevent these you know the use or having the need to use these lipo guards use your balance port please you need to be balance charging almost every time the only time i would say you don't need to balance charge is when you're at the flying field you just use your last, last battery and you're waiting for a battery to charge in that scenario i say use this and just force charge the battery with this don't use the balance because it's slower but that's the only scenario where i would say don't use the balance charger or it's probably okay not to use Use it. Hopefully you'll be outdoors and if it starts smoking it'll be a good fun thing for everybody to see and record and put on YouTube. It'll be awesome. Anyway, so just to show you a little bit about this. Let's say these are three cells inside your three cell battery and when you uh, start charging it without using the balance port, what you're doing is you're just shoving juice into all three of these 
equally. And so let's say this one, let's say this middle battery here has a uh, bat actually is a bad cell. And like I said, these are these represent three cells. So you're forcing juice into all three of these. If these two are full and this one's way low and you keep forcing, what you're doing is you're it's essentially overcharging these cells and they're trying not to accept the charge so they don't overcharge. And this guy's trying to get more juice so he can charge up and be equal with the other two. So what'll happen is in a what uh, one thing that will cause these fires is you're forcing juice into all three of these and these two cells out here start to overcharge and all of a sudden one of them says I can't take it anymore and starts fizzing out and you know blowing up and burning everything. Now what the balance port does if you put if you plug the balance port in it essentially has a connection to each of the three cells and when you force juice into all three of them then the balance port says I see you guys are already full so he starts sucking juice off of these guys so that they don't overcharge and this one he doesn't pull any juice off of it and that way this one can accept more charge and these guys aren't being overcharged and you know overcharging is probably the most um, most problems that people have even when you watch the videos where the lipos are exploding they're just essentially overcharging the batteries until they can't take it anymore and explode they say you can also over discharge the battery and that can cause it to explode too but i haven't ever seen that happen but not that it can't i just haven't seen it happen but like i said the balance port on your battery is what you really want to use every time you want to balance charge all your lipos if you over discharge your battery you'll get a, a one point you'll get a nice puffy battery like this it's nice and squishy and this one lasts just a few minutes when i actually take it off uh take off flying with it it used to take it used to last about six or seven minutes now it lasts about one and a half or two minutes now you think oh this one's all puffy it's probably high risk well it's not really a high risk because the risk comes when your cells inside are all unbalanced these are all equally puffy and <laughs> equally uh, chargeable. So this one's even as puffy as it is, it's really not that big of a risk to, uh, you know, for an explosion. Because like I said, the explosion comes from one of the cells not being happy and getting too full or maybe too uh, undercharged and then causing some kind of problem. One other thing you can do to help prevent any kind of uh, batteries exploding is use a quality charger. The more, the more expensive chargers are usually better. If you get anything with a high tech name on it, you're probably getting a very good charger. They will do a great job balancing and won't over discharge your batteries and over, or they won't overcharge your batteries. In fact, if they see one cell gets too high, it'll actually start, it'll sound a little beeping alarm and stop charging. That's what you want to happen. You don't want to push your cells inside your battery too hard. Now, what do you do with the cells that or with your batteries that are bad or ones like this that don't last very long? Well, there's different ways to discharge them and there's a lot of videos on that. But what I do with them, I, t I cut the connectors off so I can reuse them. I take off my little balance port saver plug here and, uh, and then I'll even cut off um, the uh, or take the uh, pins out of this balance charger because it seems like these always get caught in my propellers and then I'm one short you know or I can't use the balance port and so I need one of these but anyway I cut all the ends off and then I take them down to batteries plus there's it's a battery store and they will take all your lipos they don't care if they're charged or discharged or destroyed or ends on them or not they take all them and they ship them off to a recycling center that will um, discharge them properly so well, at least so I'm told. Well, I'll have links to the uh, these two bags down in the description if you're interested in picking one of these up. If you don't have a LiPo guard bag, you should probably get one. And like I said, charging it when you're, put your battery in and charging it when you're gonna be gone or at least far away where you can't smell the smoke or hear a hiss or something like that. Um, and also, if you're gonna travel, put them inside here. Like I said, with these, I usually use these for discharge batteries at the flying field so I don't get them mixed up, and it works out real well. Uh, one other thing, if you have uh, batteries that are charging, you don't wanna put them into the same bag with batteries that are full. You don't want one burning battery to destroy two or three other batteries. And if you're gonna charge inside these, battery, inside these bags, you only wanna charge one battery inside here at a time and you wanna charge it by itself. If you're traveling, who cares, put them all inside one bag. But if you're charging, definitely only put one in every bag. Anyway, there'll be links to these, links to these bags down in the description. If you have any questions about them, leave them in the comments and I'll try to answer them as best I can. And as always, thanks for watching.